We enter the engine room on this 510 C-Ray Sundancer through a day hatch right in the floor. We can see our large 3176 cat marine power engines right there. Filters and engine service was in March of 2014. Looking at the port side engine, we see we have our water jacket temperature gauge along with our engine oil pressure gauge. There's a service meter right there. It looks as though our air filter was changed January of 2010. Looking forward, we get a view of the engine turbo and exhaust hoses. We've got our transmission housing right there. On our forward bulkhead, we have an accumulator, our halon system, handheld fire extinguisher, our hydraulic control system right there. Below us, we see we have our raw water pickups with C strainers. Note the hoses and clamps are clean, new, and fresh. Circling more to starboard, we see off in the corner yet another air conditioning unit. There's our air filter. Mufflers. We see our turbo housing. Checking out the starboard engine. Moving aft. And again, service March of 14. Off on the starboard bulkhead, we see we have our Raycor filters, our power steering reservoir, fuel filters, Lendening cable winder. We have our generator start battery right there. Large battery box for the engine right there. In front of us, we have our 12 kW Westerbeek generator, new belt at 1322 hours, along with an impeller at the same time. We have an inspection window right there. And our main DC breaker panel right there. Circling back on our port side engine, we see she's neat, clean. The engines show sign of repair and maintenance and upkeep as they very well should with about 1,200 hours on them. In all, the engine room is neat, clean, orderly, well presented on this 510 C-Ray Sundancer for sale at South Mountain Yachts.